Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving, a uh, great holiday season kickoff, but I have... This is so heavy, you guys. A huge bin of trash that is overflowing, and there's a lot of wins, a lot of misses, but a lot to talk about, and just on cue, motorcycle guy drove by. So without further ado, welcome to Trash Talk. We will start with the items that are actually sitting outside of the bin that I could not fit out. And the first is a soap from Bath & Body Works in Autumn S'mores. This scent, you guys, I loved it. It is crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. And what I think is so interesting about it is the apple. There's no chocolate in here. It's like a gooey caramel apple with like a hint of like a salty sweetness to it. Love this. Would love to see Autumn S'mores in a candle. Really impressed by that soap. Hope they bring it back. I finished a three wick in Tis the Season. This was part of like, I think, like a holiday box or something like that last year. But finished that up. Rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. I love the scent, Tis the Season. The burn was horrible. I, okay. I don't want to say horrible, but I finished this candle in three days. And the reason why the flames were so low, I barely got a pull. So once I did get the wax pull, I just let it go. No matter if you trimmed it, didn't trim it, the flames were so, so low. And when you have low flames, you really don't get a great throw from a candle. You need the power of a strong flame to get strength. And I just didn't get anything from this candle. It just was basically an ambiance candle for me. Next, dun dun dun, a homeworks candle. I have a couple of Homeworks candles in my collection that I'm just trying to get rid of because I have no desire to have any more in my collection. This is Caramel Apple Spiced Tea, Orange Spice Red Delicious Apple, Caramel and Clove, Four Wicks, SC, Not a Great Burn. Ever since he switched production to Vietnam, the candles suck and they don't throw and the burns are horrible. But And this was a weird scent like right now. It's completely unscented. I cannot even smell this candle. Nothing. Like, and I didn't get any throw from it either, so. Boring. Next, I finished a candle from the brand Boy Smells. This is a luxury candle. Loved this candle. And as you can see, it burned down. It's hard to see because it's a black container. Oh, can you see? There's the wick. Completely down to the bottom. I've had this for probably a year love Boy Smells candles. I think these are like $35 or $40 for a little candle, but let me tell you, I got so many, so many hours of enjoyment out of this candle. And the difference, I always tell you, with luxury candles is that when you buy a luxury candle, you're getting a good candle. You can go through 10 Yankee or Bath & Body Works candles, but one luxury candle makes the difference of... Uh, a cheap candle. The performance, the throw, the just display, like they're amazing. And this one is Firewood Smoke, Charcoal, Palo Santo, and Hay. And this is called Ash, and it is the quintessential smoky, rich, cold winter scent. I actually burned most of it last year, finished it up this year, would definitely repurchase. They actually have these jumbo magnum candles that I'm really interested in, huge three wicks. And if this performed amazing, I can only imagine how the three wicks perform. But I'm gonna peel this label off, maybe even keep, probably will keep the label and like put Q-tips or something in it because I love the quality of those jars, as long as I don't break it. Speaking of quality candles, I also finished from Overrose. This is another luxury candle, and this is in Croissant. This scent, you guys, oh my god. Okay, for one, the Overrose brand is such a cool company. I love the aesthetic, the colors are amazing, and this, 100%, it's also hard to see because like it seems like when I go in, you can't really see, and it's not sooty, it's just super dark inside the jar. But, croissant smells like you walked into a French pastry shop like you get the layers of buttery pastry you get the richness of the 
of the butter and the warmth. It smells just like a croissant. This candle, though, it is so popular from them. As soon as they restock it, it like sells out almost instantly. So definitely, if you want to try that candle, fast fingers. But you know how we are in the wax community. We know all about fast fingers. I finished an unscented candle from Yankee Candle. This is in Jack-O-Lantern. This is another one that I only burned for ambiance. I got no throw from it. The scent itself, it's nice. It's a pumpkin-y spiced scent, but it's definitely more heavy on the pumpkin than the spice. I don't get a ton of like cinnamon or nutmeg in here. It's kind of just like a more warm, smoky, and the pumpkin scent was really good. I just didn't smell anything from the candle. Another luxury candle is this really fun candle from Jonathan Adler. It's a two wick. This, oh my god, I don't even know if it has a scent on it. Muse Gilded. It doesn't even say the scent, but this is another one that I will totally keep the jar. The scent on this, you guys, citrusy, bright, crisp, and this two wick through to the gods. Like every time, every room I went in, I could smell this candle burning and it was just beautiful display. There's like little faces and noses on it. I really think I want to keep this and like put a succulent in it or something. I don't know. Super fun. Another candle that I finished, it's interesting that it finished so low. This is from Just Sway Candles. They always send me their collections to review and the Pumpkin Spice Espresso. I've talked about it before. Lori Brown, I know you love candles, and I know you love coffee. Just Sway coffee candles out of this world. They're woodwick, and I know the, the coloring scares you. It's because it's soy wax, so it does discolor and stuff over time. But, like, not a sooty jar. I don't clean my jars whenever I'm done burning them. It crackles a little bit. In my bathroom, kind of an odd scent, pumpkin spice espresso. But their espresso scents are creamy, rich just delicious scents. I cannot describe them enough. Frothy milk, a little bit of sweetener, some sugar, coffee, amazing. And the pumpkin spice just adds another layer to this. I'm totally popping this in the freezer because there's still a good amount left and popping it in a warmer and getting the rest of this wax out because let me tell you, I don't want to be without this candle. I wish they made it bigger sizes. Oh, I finished another soap. This is the Perfect Pumpkin Soap, which is Carved Pumpkin, Spooky Cinnamon, and Moonlight Vanilla. This is just sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I feel like everybody knows what that scent smells like. This was just a nice Halloween candle, or Halloween candle, Halloween soap. Digging in the basket. My baskets are literally so low whenever I pull out Homeworks candles. I finished another Homeworks candle, and this is Cranberry Wreath. This is Iced Cranberries, Fur Needle, Fresh Balsam, and Musk. This one burned better. Again, no throw. It smells just like Bath & Body Works Frosted Cranberry. So if you're familiar with that candle and you like that candle, it's pretty much the same scent. Just like a really icy cranberry. I just didn't get any throw from it. Next we have from Bath & Body Works. This was last year or two years ago. Probably last year. This is White Pumpkin. This was White Pumpkin, Autumn Spice Blend, and Ground Cinnamon. I love White Pumpkin. I feel like it smells more like a creamy pumpkin, true pumpkin scent than any of their other pumpkins. I repurchase it every year. I have one this year. Probably I'll save it for next year, but I love the lids on this collection and the little pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Loved all the misshapen pumpkins all the way around it and the scent. Threw well, burned well. Love white pumpkin. Again, like a creamy, spicy, rich pumpkin scent. And then, do I have any more candles in here? Mm. Oh, yes I do. Another unscented candle, Champagne, Apple, and Honey from Bath & Body Works. This one's quintessential for not having a good throw. I love the scent, though. It's Pink Lady, Apple, Sparkling Champagne, and Jasmine Honey. I love the scent. It's a bright, crisp, crisp apple. The champagne adds a little effervescence to it. Love it in the body care. Candles, wallflowers, like any home fragrance form in this gives me no throw. So other than that... Not a fan, but love the scent. Next is a Candles by Victoria Candle. This is one of her 16 ounce candles and <sighs> blueberry cheesecake. 
Love this scent. Creamy, creamy, creamy blueberry. A little bit of graham cracker. Her scents perform out of this world every single time for me. I love her scents. And this 16 ounce candle threw incredibly. Her candles are triple scented, so you always get a throw from her candles. Love them. Just make sure you keep the wicks trimmed. And last for candles, I believe. Um, scoops, scoops. Is this a scoop? Oh, this is another candle. All right, I'll do this one next. Pumpkin Vanilla Cream. This is such a weird one this year. It smells like it smells like Doritos or Cheetos or um no um what are the orange ones? Fritos. It smells just like Fritos. I don't know why. But pumpkin vanilla cream this year, especially in the single wick, smells like Fritos to me. So bizarre. But I love the pumpkin, like, color, but it smelled like Fritos. So weird. Okay. Bay. If you've been with me for a long time, you know my love, my heart. Diptyque candles. Diptyque candles are beautiful candles. They are $68 for a 6.5 ounce candle. But let me tell you, I love their candles with all my heart. One of these candles performs so well for me every single time. I mean, look, literally no wax left at the bottom. The throw is a 10 out of 10. And this is their classic bay. It's Bulgarian roses, a little bit of earthy greens. One of this fills up my entire house. I did go to New York and I did buy five candles. I will film that haul. I, I just love Diptyque. And every time I get an itch for a great candle, you can never go wrong with Diptyque. And I think what I need to start doing is going through my collection and realizing I have a lot of candles that just don't perform. And whenever I pull out a luxury candle, I get the performance that I want. I get the throw that I want. I get exactly what I want from a candle. And it's always a luxury candle. And nine out of 10 times, it's always Diptyque. And for Black Friday this year, they're doing an exclusive design like they do every year of their Bay candle. So I ordered two. I'm super excited. I might add that to my haul and just do like a big diptyque haul because they ship super fast, but mm, I can't get enough of this candle. It's so fresh, just bright. If you're afraid of roses, don't be because this candle is amazing. All of their scents are to die for. I can't pick a favorite, but I have a diptyque candle haul, a bunch of diptyque hauls actually on my channel, so definitely check those out. And now let's get into my wax. I'm trying to pull out my Scentsies because I have a ton, a ton, a ton of Scentsy empties. Let's see here. Boom. Boom. I think that's it for the Scentsies. One. Oh my lord, I finished a lot of Scentsies this month, but that's the point. I have an obscene amount of Scentsy clams and my goal is to get them down to almost nothing. All right, so the first, whoops, let's find this. Boom, boom, I'm literally dropping them off. Sorry, as you know, it takes like a million Scentsy bars to perform in my house, so I just wanted to group them together. But what I have going right now is four bars of pumpkin marshmallow. I love this scent. This is still in my club because I have never found a scent like this from any other company. The sweet potato, or the sweet potato, the pumpkin in here kind of reminds me of a sweet potato, maybe because it's mixed with a marshmallow, but it's like this stringy, stringy sweet potato. And then the marshmallows, ooey gooey. It's like a true to life gourmand delicious bakery scent. I love it. But then again, I talk about it in every video. This is like $24 worth of wax that I melt in one day. Scentsy is insanely expensive. Next, I have Harvest Blessings. Okay. Also, let's go back to that. $24 in a day. $68 a month. Let's figure that out. So, 20, 20, 20, 20, I mean, that's like $500 in a month. Again, 
I talk about it in every video. At this point, like, luxury candles sound expensive. You get the same amount of throw from this one candle as I do putting two cubes of this in a million warmers. So, again, just, uh, just a coincidence and just like a, a thought. Next, Harvest Blessings. This I was not impressed with at all. It smells like a spicy apple scent. Like, craft store, apple. Boring. And then on Halloween, I actually had one bar of Halloween Town and two bars of Around the Campfire going. Halloween Town is like this, like, charcoal-y, smoky scent. But it has like a hint of like a dark, dark fruit. Look how it changed the wax color. And then Around the Campfire is strictly super, super smoky wood with a hint of marshmallow. It's like marshmallow fireside called fireside marshmallow like emphasis on the fireside a little bit of marshmallow i finished one cute one bar of my beloved sweet plum pastry this is another scent i'm obsessed with easily one of my favorite home fragrance scents bakery wise and i need to find a vendor to dupe this like i need to need to need to need to need to because scentsy is insanely expensive and if i if i had a dupe for this I wouldn't need to buy any Scentsy. Love. I finished three bars in Cider Mill. And Cider Mill is like an apple pumpkin. It basically smells like the Bath & Body Works one. Like 50% apple, 50% pumpkin. Really yummy. And then I finished two, cute, two bars of Peppermint Dreams and one in Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. This scent is like like a very, very strong chocolate mint candy. Love, love that scent. But again, like that is something I can get from any vendor. And then marshmallow mint cocoa, it's like chocolate hot chocolate with mint. Chocolate hot chocolate. Like hot chocolate with a little bit of mint. And again, this is something any vendor in the world can dupe. So I have no desire to necessarily buy it from Scentsy. I have a huge bin of random bags and such. So let's start with the stuff that's... Oh, I actually have two more Bath & Body products. I finished an Aromatherapy Shower Gel in Cedarwood and Vanilla. I love this scent, you guys. I'm so sad they discontinued it. It's like smoky, smoky Cedarwood. And that vanilla is really creamy. I add this to my bubble baths at night and perfection love it and then i finished a body butter in sleep well from the brand sage i love their stuff it's a canadian bath and body product that i first discovered when i worked for lush and i've been hooked ever since i love their diffusers too hands down best essential oil diffusers you can buy on the market they have a lifetime warranty they're like super quality ceramic just beautiful beautiful diffusers and with these guys, I mean, obsessed. And this is like a super thick lavender body butter. I put this all over my legs before sleep and mm, I think it works. All right, I have a bin of bin of bags. So I have a lot of bags, but I also have one scoop and this is in Fang's Palo Santo from L3. This, it was one of the first scoops I ever got from L3. I actually got this in the mail on. I put stickers on the bottom of my L3 wax or all my L3 wax on when I got it because they don't have pour dates. So at least I have an idea of when I got it in the mail. So this came June 5th and it's Fangs Palo Santo. Not sure if Fangs is wildberry mousse, blueberry cereal, and pie crust. I assume because that's what the description is. Palo Santo. Wild berry mousse, cereal, pie crust, and palo santo, but it works. And I know there's still a little bit left. I don't know how to get it out, but I love palo santo blends. And this, 10 out of 10 throw. I savored every drop of this because I've yet to see her pour it. I know I can literally just say, can you make more? And she will, but mm, I love this scent. This is a hoard worthy scent. The wild berry mousse, it's like the best rich berry blend with a little bit of creaminess and then the palo santo makes it super woody and remarkable love all right 
I'm just gonna grab a handful of bags and we'll go from there. Oh, I just happened to pull out some loaves. I finished three L3 loaves. The first one I finished is Cider Lane Hufflepuff. I laugh because I feel like everybody in the wax community has been talking about L3's Cider Lane oil lately because I don't know if she bought it on the black market or she bought it from Chinatown because it's does I don't know what it is. It's like a spicy apple where everybody knows Cider Lane. The dupe for Cider Lane is like a creamy, rich, ooey gooey caramel apple. And this is spiced apple. So I was super excited to get it. And then whenever I smelled it, I was like, this is not Cider Lane. Maybe I got a bad oil, but I know Lori Brown, M from Emily's uh, Craft Corner. Like, all of them all say the same thing. Like, it does not smell like Cider Lane. I don't know what it is, but I finished that. I finished Pumpkin Marshmallow Twinkies. Now this was a sleeper scent for me. I kept smelling it in the bag, and it's good. It's like a creamy pumpkin, no spice because it's just Marshmallow Twinkie. Like think of like a pumpkin filled Twinkie. And I was like, this is good. When I cut this up, you guys, and I smelled it in the bag after it like warmed in the microwave for a little bit, this was so good. And I popped it in my warmers the throw out of this world loved this scent i would repurchase it i love that it's not a spicy pumpkin because i feel like every wax is spicy i don't know what happened to this label but this is i put a spell on you which is cinnamon sugar french baguette with our top secret bakery bomb blend and this was nice it just like a cinnamony sugary bakery scent I don't think I would repurchase it though, to be honest. It wasn't anything special, in my opinion. Let's grab them, grab them, grab them. I finished, whoops. From VCS, I finished Cookie Baking at Jackie O's. I think these were, oh yeah, these were two tile shapes. This is nice. Jackie O is like a creamy vanilla blend mixed with cookies. It was such a nice, comforting, just creamy, rich scent. And this was poured in 2018, and the throw was amazing. VCS wax lasts forever, throw-wise, and um, longevity-wise. I finished from L3. This was a puppy pack in Li Liana's Lullaby, which is Johnson & Johnson Bedtime Baby Bath. This is nice. It smells exactly like that, like a lavender bubble bath. I used this um, on my nightstand before bed. From VCS, I finished Caramel Apple Jackio. These were like two random little cake shapes. Rich vanilla bean cake topped with red apples, whipped marshmallows, and a sweet caramel drizzle. This smelled very similar to Cider Lane to me, and I loved it. It's like a like a super sweet, creamy caramel apple, and Jackie O just makes it even more creamy. I finished, oh, lots of VCS this month. I finished The Great Pumpkin, poured in 2017. This was a bunch of little pumpkins, so I just popped them throughout my warmers in the house. Love this. Creamy, a little spicy pumpkin, but not overly. Really good. I finished The Warrens, which... A classic VCS scent. Glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider, topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. And this is like her version of Cider Lane. Incredible. It's like Cider Lane mixed with incredible apple cider donuts. Can never go wrong with the Warrens. I finished Autumn in Salem. Pumpkin donuts dusted with cinnamon and sugar. Another fabulous one. It's like Cinnamon sugar donuts with s nutmeg, ginger, and all the spices in a pumpkin spice. Can't go wrong with that. I finished, oh my lord, I finished so much. I finished from VCS again, waffle cone bakery, buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, waffle cone, a hint of sugared almonds, just like you walked into the bakery. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like you walked into an ice cream shop and they were making fresh waffle cones. Sugary, rich, delicious, heavenly. From the pharmacist's daughter, Screecher Creature, Palo Santo, Crackland Birch, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, don't support her, not gonna talk about her. Rose Girls Circus Concession. 
Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. This was a muffin, and this was port 8221. I got no throw from this. I love this scent, you guys. Circus Concession is incredible. I have more muffins, but I got no throw from this. And this had a three-month cure time. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say I'm over Rose Girls because I have a humongous Mario order and I just did a haul on her mini melters, but I'm hoping now that my air conditioner is not on, because I did have my air on during that, I hope that that is really going to make a difference. I finished uh, from Birdie's Making Sense, and no, I never did a haul. I have a lot of... Um, people send me random act of kindness boxes and this was in one of them and some of them do not disclose they don't want filmed so that's why I don't film them but this is brownie points hot chocolate bear claws and fudge brownie this had a port date of January 11th this kind of freaked me out because it looked like little turds <laughs> it was like really weird and it just smelled like brownies like brownie batter it was good I did not get an incredible throw from it though it was four brownies and I popped them in four warmers and I thought the performance could be better. I finished one of my samples from Candles from the Keeping Room, Pomegranate Apple Zucchini. Now I keep telling you guys you need to order from Candles from the Keeping Room. <sighs> Pomegranate Apple, like a really rich, rich cider, and then a hint of zucchini makes it an amazing bakery scent. One of these through in my warmer all day. I love her wax. No cure time. But I will say, you guys, if you only melt with Scentsy warmers, don't order. You're not going to get a throw from them because they need to be in hot plate warmers. Her wax is 100% paraffin. You will not get a throw from, um, from Scentsy warmers. You need a hot warmer. Pumpkin carving from L3. I think this is disgusting. It, it says raw pumpkin smell. To me, it smells like citrusy. And I don't know why. Like, I, I was expecting... I ordered this because I was expecting the raw pumpkin that I get from Pumpkin Marshmallow from Scentsy. But now the more that I smell the Scentsy one, it smells like sweet potato. So, I don't know. Maybe this is what a raw pumpkin smells like. I am one of those weirdos that anytime I see a raw pumpkin, I get freaked out, like, putting my hands in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh freaks me out. <laughs> and then I finished a point set up from, or a, a leaf shape from VCS Vintage Chic Scents in Zombie. And it says, this captivating blend of warm spiced cranberry will be in your head, in your head, Zombie AA. And I actually realized that's from a band called the Cranberries. Kirby texted me after my video and I'm like, oh, never knew. This is nice. It's like a, like it says a warm cranberry. Like, you walked into a craft store, but instead of potpourri, they had a ton of cranberries. Like, they were mauling cranberry cider at the front of a craft store. I loved this. And I put this in my bathroom. Oh my god, it was such a good scent and lasted for two days in my bathroom. Okay. I'm holding this up high to the wax gods. Because I've never heard of this vendor. Their website is, like, non-accessible. I joined her Facebook. Like, I liked her on Facebook. I haven't heard anything. I messaged. Haven't heard anything. Yum Yum Wax. Coffee and pastry. That's it. That's all it said. It was a little coin. Oh, my God. Like, when I smell this bag, I'm, like, in heaven. You're walking, you're in a coffee shop, and you have a pastry. I don't know what pastry it is, but it's delicious, and it's a French pastry, because it's gourmet. And there's a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar on the top. It's sugary, it's salty, it's coffee. It was so good, and I'm not joking. This lasted, there was two coins, I cut them in half, and I put four warmers. Two coins, four warmers, two whole days. I don't know how long she had this wax for, I don't know who the vendor is, I know nothing. Yum Yum Wax Coffee and Pastry. This 
was amazing. I scaled the walls, I licked the air, I was running around like a madman. It, it is just, it smells so good. I need a minute. All right, now that I had some time to digest that incredible wax, let's keep going. I don't really have a ton more. Oh, another pumpkin carving from L3. Predator from L3. I think this was like leaves. What is it? Leaves, Palo Santo, apple cider. There's something else in here. I can't remember. I like it. It's like a definite like leaves and Palo Santo blend. I pick up on like the mulled apple cider. I picked up on the uh, creamy woodiness from the Palo Santo. I really like that. I finished a bakery bag also from a friend from Southbound in Blue Marshmallow Cream Cookies. This had to have just been too old. I didn't get any throw from this whatsoever, but I loved the scent. It was blue sugar, vanilla sugar cookie dough, and fluffy marshmallow cream. I used to order from Southbound before. She had a pumpkin cream puff scent out of this world. If you know, does she still make that scent? If she does, can somebody tag me? I'm in the Facebook group, but can somebody tag me if she posts that she's making that? Because that's another scent that I need to order if she makes it again, because I loved it. Holy crap. Okay. A few more left. From Destination Wax, this is one of the tester blends. This was Kiko's Cafe. Ginger cream cafe and strawberries. <gasps> I loved this. Loved this. The ginger, the ginger cream cafe is like a super sweet sugary ginger ale and then mixed with the strawberry. Whatever the blend was, this was pink. The pink blend. Incredible. I finished from, whoa, Candles from the Keeping Room, Banana Pizzell. Love this too. A little bit of that anise, but mostly fresh, ripe banana. Love this. I put this as like a bedtime meal, and I was in banana heaven. Um, another sample that I got from that box from Ava's Country Cover. This is almond pistachio donuts. This was interesting because it was definitely cherry. Like, I definitely got cherry from this, and I do not like cherry, so I was not a fan. I finished a sample from Zape in Flat White. This is a great coffee scent. I think because it has so much milk frothed in it and caramel. Oh, it's so good. And the coffee in it is a little bit bitter, so mixed with those creaminess of everything else, heaven. From Destination Wax, I finished a breakaway bar because I do have a loaf in it or a foil pan in Jelly Cronut. Love this. This is Flaky Buttery Croissant Donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry jelly. Oh, so good. This is like the best raspberry donut scent you've ever eaten in your life. And this is one that it smells amazing in the bag. But when you pop this scent in your warmers, it just transforms and it gets to be so much better because the the yeastiness of the donut comes out heaven another winner 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 chicken dinner rainbow melts zucchini jam Stro zucchini bread and strawberry jam filled donuts i don't know what makes this so amazing this was Four Little Roses. A friend sent this to me. I finished my last one as much as I didn't want to. I was having a really bad day, feeling really sad, and I popped this in my warmer before bed, and I had the best dreams. Love this scent. And this is another one. If you ever see, I know she's doing more ready to ships now after all the drama, so if you ever see on her list zucchini jam tag me message me screenshot it post it on instagram send to the world that drew zucchini jam is being poured from rainbow melts and i'm going to buy her out of the country of zucchini jam love and oh this was a wallflower in leaves and my bin is empty yet again 
ready to be filled with some incredible, incredible wax. So, thank you so much for watching my trash talk videos. Are there anything in here that you've tried? What are your thoughts? I'm definitely curious. Leave them down below. Get the conversation going. And I cannot list everybody's name because I don't want to forget and make somebody feel left out. But I've been in this wax community since I was 10 years old. So 14, almost 15 years of making YouTube videos. And let me tell you, people come, people go. I've came and gone, but I'm back. And I, I, I leave and I come back and, and do, I do my own thing, but I've always stuck around. And let me tell you, the group of men and women who are here right now, and you know who you are, I, I'm subscribed to you. Okay, you are amazing. You are so special. I get so excited when I watch your videos and I feel like now more than ever, the group of waxies in this community who make videos, Angela, Charity, Lori, Catherine King, Carson, Michaela, Lexi, um, Tennessee Girl, I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember her name, Canada Kim, Ramona, we have such an amazing, amazing community of people, and I am so grateful, Emily, um, who else? I just, I think of them as friends, I don't even think of them as YouTubers anymore, and I don't know, like, I just feel like the community of Wax YouTubers now, more than ever, Danny, who can forget Danny, Danny's amazing, um, Casey, I love, Ca Casey, Casey, I love you. Please turn your videos sideways. It drives me crazy when I'm in the car watching your videos and it keeps flashing to rotate my phone because it's in like a holder that can't rotate. And I'm like, Casey, just turn your phone so it's full and we can see your beautiful face landscape. And I, I love you so much, but definitely I want to see, I want to see more of you. I want to see more of your face. And yeah, I, I just love you guys all so much. And if I missed out on you, you know I'm watching. And I always say this in my videos, that I love you and make it a better world. And I think with this group of Wax YouTubers, we're making it a better world. We lift each other up. We don't tear each other down. We're super supportive, and I love you all so much for it. Have an amazing day. Love you. Make it a better world. Goodbye.